Let's get it. Chomp, 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 chomp. Honey. Chomp, 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 chomp. Honey. Yeah, babe. Uh, what are you doing? I'm playing Miss Pac-Man. Do you know today is Tuesday? Uh. And you know what time it is? Yeah, blue, 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 blue. It's seven o'clock, and you down here playing Pac, Miss Pac-Man. Blue, 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 blue. <laughs> hey, let's do this. Let's do this. Ah. Hey, everybody out there in TV land. Come on in and hang out with us today. We're in the game room today. Thank you so much for coming. You just never know what you will get at Treasure Hunt, excuse me, at Illumination Kingdom Teaching. Thank you guys so much for coming and joining with us today. We're so grateful unto you for another episode of Treasure Hunt of the Bible. This is episode number, what, 53. Hallelujah. And we just want to thank you guys so much for your support and just coming and uh, hanging out with us. I am your boy, Pastor D, and this is my homegirl, Nicole. Oh, the names are backwards. Oh, the real the game from <laughs> Anyway. We're just hanging out, having fun. We wanted to do something different, you know, and just want to start off this new year. Uh, well, you know, going to the next year. We're just doing something, you know, doing something different, doing something fresh, you know, because the Lord is always up to something, doing new things and birthing new things. And so we want to just be a part of it, what he's doing. We're so excited at what he is doing. And we just want to be, uh, I tell people, see, just because you're a Christian don't mean that you can't have fun. So we want to have fun and serve God as well. Amen. Amen. And so, uh, again, thank you so much for coming. This is uh, episode 53. And uh, we are so excited for uh, this for, for you guys being treasure hunt of the Bible. But I hope that you have your Bibles with you. Open and get ready and have your shovel as well, because we're going to dig in and uh, uncover the mysteries, more mysteries and more missions of Christ. There's so much we're thankful for him for. So in saying that, before we get started, uh, I do want to you know, tell, talk a little bit about what Treasure Hunt is all about. You want to tell me a little bit about that, babe? Sure. I thought you was going to say, let's pray or let's play, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, that wasn't that funny. All right, y'all. Welcome to Treasure Hunt of the Bible. We are glad that you are here with us today. Again, we are in a different setting today. A um, little unique, so you may see us moving a bit awkwardly, but we, it's all for a purpose. So Treasure Hunt of the Bible is in, interactive Bible study. What does that mean, interactive? It means that you can engage with us. You can chat with us on YouTube in the chat bar, um, ask questions, make comments, and we'll respond to as many as we can. Um, on the session, um, we are learning like you're learning. So if we don't know the answer to a question or we're unsure, we will come back to that question next week with the proper answer after we have had time Amen. to study and seek it out from the Lord. So that being said, this is interactive Bible study. As you can see, we are, we are in the game room. So that means we're going to have some fun, fun, fun. Oh. Too bad y'all not here with us, but you're interactive. Right. So you can you know, say hit the cue ball or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's get ready for Treasure Hunt of the Bible. Let's do that. Before we do that, um, Lord, you know, let's go on in prayer. Father, we thank you for this awesome opportunity to be able to do something uh, great and just have fun and just to bless your name. But we don't want to do another anything, have another episode or anything in this type of session or podcast without your presence being with us. So we ask that you will come in, be with us, and let your spirit dwell with us and just rest upon his house today. Lead and guide us, Holy Spirit, for the work of the ministry. Will you lead 
and we will follow you, Lord. But I pray that you will draw us all unto you, Heavenly Father. Open up our ears that we may hear, open our heart that we may receive, and open up our ears that we may hear the voice of God even now. And Father, we just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I like your pool hat. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, this is my pool. Yeah, this is my pool hat. That, you know, that's our pool. We get down in the pool room. You, you know, know. And you can tell that we are in the pool room. In the game room. We like this, like the boy said, we are in the boom, boom room. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. so anyway, we just having fun, my Lord. But as you can tell, we are at the pool table today. And, you know, the pool table has a lot of significance. Uh, there's a story behind the pool table that uh, the Lord had given uh, given us today. We just kind of want to, uh, you know, kind of uh, tell you about uh, this game and how the Lord had shown us and given us another perspective on how to look at the game of pool. Okay. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about the pool, uh, the game of pool. Uh, in the natural, it is something, it is a game of strategy, mm -hmm. you know, it is a game of strategy between two participants. And the, the goal of the game is to knock in all of your balls that you have. And the objective to win the game is to knock the eight ball in at the last, that'll be the last ball that you will knock in, in the holes. Okay. Just get all your, your balls in the holes. And then at the end, you know, uh, make sure that you knock the eight ball in. That is in order for you to win the game. I'm going to win. But anyway, make sure you don't knock the eight ball in before you knock in all your other ball. That would be hurt. But so anyway, uh, <laughs> you see, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and, 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 and rack them up. Come on, little boy. I'm going to watch you. I'm going to watch you. And anyway, uh, yeah, as you can tell, the, the pool table is a big playing field here. As you all can see, it's all it's on the green uh, platform with all the balls um, racked up and on the table. But there's a spiritual sense to this as well, guys. Okay, there's a spiritual sense. Uh, we're going to today. Uh, we're going to use it as. Uh, the green platform is like it's like your it's like the field of your heart. It is, it is your heart, so it's symbolic of your heart. Okay, and um, the, the the balls that you see on the table is we're going to use them as your issues that you have in your life. Okay, and the eight ball we know to be the main ball, uh, which is the darkest ball. And uh, but this is the one that we are ultimately going to get rid of our lives and to make sure that he stays where he's supposed to be in the hole. So, but we also have a cue stick. I have one and my wife has one. And mine's a little battered. Yeah. You know, mine's a little battered. Um, this is because of um, inexperienced people using it. Yeah. They kind of damaged it, but we still can use it. And probably because she loses so much, she probably slammed up the chew stick down and broke it. But that's a whole nother story. I don't have anger issues. So, and the white And ball, I don't lose. So, anyway, the chew stick today. You that so quick. You just kind of just breeze by it's, it. It is symbolic of the spirit of God, okay? It's symbolic of the spirit of God, as you guys know, sometimes the uh, the Spirit of God can be uh, referenced to the Holy Ghost, uh, the Spirit of God, uh, the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit of Truth. Mm -hmm. So this cue stick represents and symbolic of Holy Spirit today. And this is what we're supposed to hold? And this is what we hold as believers. So we are the participants and we're holding. The, the Holy Spirit is to help us, to lead and guide and instruct us and make sure that we our aim in the right direction. He is the one who comes and he teaches us all things according to John 14 and 6 through 16. Well, 14 and 16. He teaches us all things. He leads and guides us into all truth to make sure that we live in our life according to the will and the purpose of God. So the purpose of his teaching today is we want to teach on doing it God's way. Okay? We want to do it God's way. And 
And we can't leave out the main uh, tool, tool mm -hmm. or the main component component of this strategy of the strategy of playing in this. Um, I'm not going to say it's a game. It's an adventure or a journey or a journey yeah. in Christ. But we must have the main denominator here, which is the white cue ball. The white cue ball today is going to represent Christ. It's going, he's representing also. He is the word of God. He is also the love of God and the wisdom of God. So he must be here in order for us to make this game even work. Well, let me ask you a question. Um, so you just dropped the ball on the table, but shouldn't it be in a particular space? Doesn't it have a, a place where it is designated to be? Well, it, it is. Okay. It, is. it okay. is. Um, but but the main thing is you must have them in your heart. Mm -hmm. okay. that, that's that's the space. That is the space mm -hmm. that he needs to be in. He needs to uh be in the in your heart, which we explained that he needs to be in every part of your heart. He needs to be the center. He needs to be in the center of your heart, the center of your life. Okay. So again, we're going to go ahead and kind of demonstrate. So these balls are what? These balls, as we said before, uh, we're going to, uh, these balls represents the issues or the, the negative influences that you have been dealing with in your life. Okay. That are, that are in your heart, the issues that are in your heart, whether it's fear, whether it's pain, whether it's rejection, whether it's addiction, whether it's you're dealing with anger issues or whether you're dealing with low self-esteem or even maybe dealing with pride. So each of these balls represents uh, something in your life that we want to make sure that we break them up and put them in a hole and get rid of them out of your life. Okay, that is the goal. All right. So in saying that, we're going to I'm going to kind of show you a demonstration of what this looks like, okay? Just to let you know, we're going to use two cameras today uh, to kind of uh, show you this demonstration. We're going to use two cameras today, okay? I hope you guys can hear me okay. If you cannot, please, uh, you know, let us know through the chat if you can hear us okay. We're going to kind of be moving around a little bit, but we want to show you a demonstration because, again, the cue ball, the white ball, is symbolic of Christ. He is the word of God, and he is the love of God. And, again, the cue stick, it is, he is the spirit of God, and we are the one who is holding the spirit of God. He is the one that is helping us come alongside of us, making sure that we are, uh, we are learning, that, he is, uh, that we're aiming in the right direction. So we can be delivered or set free from the things that are in our heart. All right. Maybe in your heart. Let me say that. I don't want to say anything that uh, puts you in harm's way. So, again, the cue ball is something that we use. The Holy Spirit, we aim and met Christ through the word of, with the word of God, which is going to put things in motion like so. In motion. As you can see, ah, that's a pretty good shot. I'm not one of the balls. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, again, the object of this game, or the object of life, or the object of this Christian journey is to make sure that we get rid of these uh, negative thoughts negative ideas or the negative influences in our life and put them in the hole and keep them in the hole. Okay. Uh, this is a game, like I said, a game of strategy. This is a game that we, we need help with from the Holy Spirit to show us what he would have us to do and to make sure that those demonic influences stay out of our lives. Okay. The Bible says in Romans 8, 14, that as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Mm -hmm. So there's a that, that, that lets us know that uh, we have to be led by Holy Spirit. But we have to make up in our minds and in our hearts that we are not all sufficient. We don't always make all the right decisions. 
So we need Holy Spirit to train us and teach us all things in Christ so we make sure that we aim and make sure that we hit the ball accurately in the right um, the right angle, the right plan of attack, and making sure that we knock the balls in or the these what would you say these negative influence into the hole and keep them there where they belong. Uh question. Okay. Why can I not just take this ball? It's I don't need the stick. It's right here. I could just and drop it in the hole. And I, wouldn't that be more e effective? I mean, no, I do it. you know, that 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 just seems like I can do it on my own and I could just make sure it gets in the hole. I don't need to go through the cue ball. The cue ball is all the way over there and the hole is over here and over there. So if I could just go, wouldn't that, wouldn't that just be more easier? Go ahead and do it. But you're not answering my question. Why you attitude? I'm going to ask you. But I won't get it back in the same spot. Go ahead. Exactly. She, she cheated. You just told me to do it. She cheated. Oh. You cannot cheat yourself. Okay? God is about order. Okay? If you try to do things on your own, like she just did, if you try to do things on your own, take things in your own matters, that make your own decisions up and thinking that you can bypass God, bypass him, and come to the, uh, and just be in a place where you say, you know what? I don't need God. I can deal with this myself. I can deal with these issues myself. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to let you know right now that that's going to bring you more grief than it is going to bring you peace. Because if you do things according to God's way, meaning because it talks about being carnally minded. Mm. You know, being carnally minded is death. That means that you're actually uh, operating out of your flesh. What I mean by operating out of your flesh, that means that you're uh, you're doing things out of your own uh, how you, your own uh, emotions, out of your own desires, uh, desires and, and what of your lusts and desires are out of your flesh. And know that the flesh is the one that does not want to do, have anything to do with God. It, wants, it does not have, want anything to do with the spirit of God. It wants to stay in the place where it, it is in control of his life always. But it says in the Bible, it also talks about being spiritually minded is what? Life and peace. So you understand and you see if you do things your own way, it will bring death at some point. It will bring you to a dead end. Loss, yeah. It will bring you grit, regret, and loss and pain and so on and so forth. But if we do things God's way, so it will bring you life and peace. So I recommend this young lady standing beside me that she put the ball back where it belongs. And she did. So. Well, let me ask you a question. Okay. So what you're saying is. In order for us to successfully deal with all these issues that have sprawled out over our lives and the, you know, and the enemy being at the center or the, the, the core, that we have to go through the cue ball, the word Christ in order to do that. Exactly. But Christ right now or the cue ball right now is in a very difficult place. I can't really get to him. It's not easy for me to get to him. What do I do? Well, you just basically. Um... You keep pushing. You keep strategizing. You keep strategizing and you keep looking unto him or looking unto the cue ball and say, cue ball, well, Holy Spirit, I need the right angle. Show me the right angle. Show me the right word. The right word. That right. will fit this uh, situation, situation yeah. that I have in my life so I can make sure that I'm not going to have fear or not going to have regret or not going to have pain or mm -hmm. whatever it is that you're dealing with, making sure that I have the right word for this right uh, situations so I make sure that I can knock that ball into the hole. So you're saying that we already have all the tools we need of to course. successfully deal with all these things. Of course. We carry it. It is accessible to us. It is available to us. We have the Holy Spirit. We have Christ and the word mm -hmm. available to deal with all these things. If you notice that Christ is in the midst of all of this, if right. you utilize him, right. he is the only way to deal with these things. Right. You can't deal with them without going right. through him. Exactly. Okay. Exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. But you must understand the word of God to be able to know how to 
strategize to be able to maneuver and use the word of God in every situation. Yeah. Okay. And the only way that you can do that is by the help of Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, which is what? The one that's going to teach guide you and direct you. Yeah. Right. To, to, to guide you and direct you, making sure you have the right aim and the right word for your situation so you can be delivered and set free and have victory. And actually, this will be your source of power. Exactly. You know, because you're holding it, but it is going to be through this, this cue stick that is going to propel the word to go forth and deal with these issues. Of course. I think so, I got so, it. So, okay, well, for example, you go, go ahead. No, you, you, go, ahead. you go ahead. You go ahead. Go ahead. Since you were all I didn't say I was all that, but you go ahead. Because I don't want to embarrass you. You know, you you know, well, you, you got the pool hat on. Well, I'll do it. Well, I'll do it. You, you, you go ahead. Yeah, do it Mr. Miss Pac-Man. Did y'all see that video? It was time to go. Did y'all go ahead while you 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 know talking Holy Spirit about which angle you go? Holy Spirit, move out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you you can't stand there. You can't stand there. Uh, I, oh, okay. No, you, you're in the light. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm in the light. Sorry. I'm going to show you an example. <laughs> You don't get your chance to maneuver Jesus. Jesus stays right where he is. The word is the word. You got to figure this out with Holy Spirit, honey. Go on an angle at that. Well, if, what Which you Because the Bible says in Hebrew 4 and 12, the, the word is quick and a power. You know, it's alive. You know, it's alive. So it can move. But you ain't moving. You can't move it. The, the Bible also says that he never changes. Ooh. So find you a spot. Mm, fine. You, let me move out the way. Move out the way. You better do something with it. Watch this, guys. <laughs> you better, you better hit it. I'm not gonna fear. I'm not gonna fear. Right and put it right in the hole right now. Wait, 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 wait. But, but you hit that one. You made him move. Well, he needed to move. In the game of pool or billiards, that's not allowed. Well, that was kind of like a you know, oh, attack. Oh, okay. Well, you go ahead on. He, he, went, he went in. Good for you. Just to show you. So look how easy that was, though. You used the strategy. You found the right angle for that word. You aimed it at that at that issue, and you got rid of it. You put it where it belonged in the hole. Right, right, right. right. Oh. Yeah. And now you go to what? You go on to your next. One. Okay. Okay. But you give God glory first because He is the one that gave you the word and gave you the ability to deal with that situation that you may be delivered. Amen. Now, another, thing, another oh, thing I wanted to say uh, that if you decide to do things on your own and and try to uh, be delivered of some situations or just different mindsets or behaviors, uh, bad habits or things like that on your own without using Christ, you know the Bible talks about if you know once a person has been uh, delivered or set free from unclean spirit, you know he walks around in dry places. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm and if he does not find anything, he comes back. He wants to see uh, how it's going along with you. Are you are, are you making, are you developing? Are you growing in the word of God? Have you put the word of God in place where he, where he wants resides? Because he wants to come back and reside in you. And so if you try to do this thing on your own, the Bible said he would not only come back, but he also will bring other spirits along with him more dangerous than he was and they will come back and, and you and you will be in a worse more worse state than you were before mm -hmm. that's so right. we, that's why that's another reason why we need to do it christ's way so we may be delivered and set free not just for the moment not for this just a particular time but always if <clears throat> we do it god's way so pretty much what you're saying is stop trying to figure it out on your own or the world's way. In other words, you know, if you have a problem with fear, deal with it spiritually. Right. You know, deal with it by the word. Don't just say, I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to be afraid. of." That's not doing it God's way. God's way is through Christ, which is the word, and you deal with the issues. Right. You know, if you have a problem with being afraid, don't, okay, I'm just not, I'm just going to make myself do it. 
I'm going to make myself not be afraid. I'm going to touch that thing I'm afraid of. I'm going to do that thing I'm not afraid of. If you're doing it in your own strength, it's not going to work. Right. But if you're doing it with Christ, who you can do all things through, that it will be successful. You know, we got to get to get, get past the point where we say, like you said, I'll just try hard. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm saying that's flesh. I, right, I just right, that's flesh. I just try harder next time, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, no, 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 because just to let you know, God will stand back and let you exhaust all your efforts in what you're doing until you come to a, a realization that I need to change my way of thinking and realize that I don't have it all together. Mm -hmm. I can't do this by myself. I need someone greater than me who has the ability. And then come along beside me and help me to get rid of this thing out of my life. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, we, 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 we have everything that we need, Nicole, but sometimes we don't use it. Yeah. And sometimes you don't know how to use it. You know, yeah. you may, you know, you may try to, you know, deal with this thing here and uh, you might miss. You yeah. might you might miss the mark. I'm going to try to do this without breaking anything. Okay. You may miss the mark. You know, I know the hole is there, but, you know, you're trying to deal with this unclean spirit. And you may miss the mark. Right. Keep going. Right. right. Keep going. Don't give up. Right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep, keep staying with God. Keep staying in the word. Keep staying until you can get him gone. Right. Right. That's that's so true. And like I said, you keep going. It, it's a process, guys. You know, it's. We, 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 you know, the thing with this world, we, we, men pride on being, trying to get everything right now. Mm -hmm. I need it now. You know, I want things to happen for me right now. It's got to go my way. It's got to go my way. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't, some men have the mindset, you know, I don't know who, I don't care who I step on. And I don't know who, you know, who I stab in the back. I need it now and I'm going to get it now my way. Mm -hmm. That's not the way God works. No. No, God, he's, he's about doing things in order. And, you know, sometimes I think people, when they miss the mark, they get frustrated because they're saying, well, I, I, I use the word, but I, I, I didn't quite understand it. I missed it. I didn't get it. I, it don't make sense. I, I hit it. I thought I hit it, but I, I didn't do it right. And I, I'm doing it wrong. And it's, it's just too, it's too hard or I can't figure it out. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep aiming, keep strategizing with Holy Spirit and the word. And you keep going. Yeah. You keep at it. Yeah. And you will eventually, it'll click. It'll click. It'll click. It'll click. You got to keep using the word. Yeah. You got to keep staying connected with Holy Spirit. You got to. That is that is the, our, our, our source. He is the one that empowers us to do the supernatural. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He is the one that's giving us the ability to overcome situations and crises and mindsets uh, and weaknesses that we may have in our life. He is the one that has given us uh, the ability to get free. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, try to hit. I, I don't want to hit the camera. Okay. You want to try that one right there? Mm, I can't get it from this side. You'd have to do it. Okay. I mean, I could, I, I think I would hit the camera and I don't think I got a good angle. And see, sometimes you can try to force a shot. Right. You can try to force a shot. Am I blocking the camera? No, you're good. Sometimes you can try to force a shot. You think you got it. And you oh, drop the main thing. You drop you for you drop the word. You see that? You drop the word. The white ball went inside the went in went inside the hole. Okay? Well, all these other Influence is still floating around in your heart, causing havoc, but you drop the word. Mm -hmm. What you do? What do you do? Does it mean that you stop looking? You stop looking at the word? No. Did you give up on the word? No. Did you stop believing? I'm gonna get this word. I'm gonna put it right back in a position. Exactly. That's the power of the word of God. It is. It is able. To turn a situation around is able wherever you are. If you dropped it, if you drop the word of God, pick the word of God back up and apply it to your life and ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I messed up. He dropped the ball. Literally. Literally dropped the ball. Show me 
because I realized that I, I tried it, I tried to force it on my own mm -hmm. and end up dropping the word of God or overlooking the word of God. And I need you now. Show me what must I do to get this thing out of my life. And I'm going to show you how it's done. Are you going to show them how it's done? You see this? You see this? He going to show somebody how it's done. Let me, flip, let me flip the camera so they can see it from another perspective. Y'all hold on. We're trying to work with two screens here so y'all can get a good view. All right, here we go. Let's see what you're going to do. See, it's just that simple. Oh, oh, it's just that simple. So did y'all hear it? It's just that simple. Then go ahead. Since this is you to put the word in a in a tight spot. Yes, it is in a tight spot. Yes, what you gonna do? But you the word of God is quick and powerful, and it is alive, guy. So is anybody out there with us? Like, you got any comments? Mm -hmm. Anybody want they're to liking anything? what they're saying. This is not nice. this is great. Love it. This is a great visual example. Very understanding. And understandable and fun. Thank you, Lord. Don't give up and don't quit. That's right. Don't quit. I like that. Don't quit. Don't quit. Keep going. Right. Don't Keep quit. going. Because again, you have all the tools. And you know, I like how this ball ended up because if you look at it, I don't know if they can see it real close. Let me what? see if I can switch. The Let me, the, cue yeah. ball? the cue ball. Yeah, it's in the middle. Let me. I want you guys to see this. It's right here. You see the cue ball? It looks like the word isn't working. It looks like the, it's, everything is crowding in and the word can't do what it needs to do. Sometimes you're praying the word. It just don't seem like it's working. It's not doing anything. Don't let that fool you. Right. There is a way of escape. Mm. The word will still penetrate. Right. All of that stuff. Go ahead and show on Mr. Uh, metabolism. I'm going to show. I'm going to do a bank shot here. A bank shot. Oh, he has. He has some, some skills. The word of God can be used to bank something in to get rid of of that thing out of your life, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, y'all, can y'all see? Yeah, that is a good shot. So he he's calling this a bank shot. Watch this. Uh, yeah. Uh, and see, so sometimes we can be just a little overconfident. Uh, uh, swish. See, sometimes you can get a little overconfident with the words. You think you know the word. You think you know what the word is going to do. You think you, you, you got this thing figured out. Only to find out that you misunderstood. Wow. You miscalculated. You didn't quite get the right understanding of how that word was supposed to be applied. So what happened? You, you, you may have touched that, that thing, but you didn't, it wasn't successful in getting rid of that thing. Yeah, I, I got a little overselling. Yeah, you got a little, a little what? Pride. A little pride. Yeah, you you thought you you gonna I'm, I got this word. Yeah. I know what to do with it. I can yeah. bank this. Right. You ain't bank nothing but the side. Ain't bank nothing but the side. So sometimes we can get a little you know into ourselves. Yeah, and I'm gonna try not to get into myself because I'm not a great pool a great pool player, y'all. Uh, uh, don't say that, Mister uh, Mrs. Uh, I, I'm just I'm just clearing this, this stuff up so they can see. I want trying to hit it, you know. Because if I was gonna hit, I would hit one of these over here. I'm just moving the balls around, you know. Okay, keep talking. So keep sometimes, preaching, preaching. like I said, you can get a little high-minded and into yourself and thinking that, you know what? Because when you do that, you have to realize when you get high-minded, is that's when you leave God out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? God, I got it all together. You know, yeah, I don't need you. You you can sit this one out. I yeah. got this. I know what the word said, but I'm going to do this thing my way. And then because of that, you can miss the mark. You can miss the mark. And so, uh, but God is, he's merciful. See, sometimes you get to playing around with these things. Look at it. Yeah. And all you're doing, you're not doing nothing. You're hitting, you're using the word, and you're just moving around. Yeah. You're not for real. You're not really doing anything, making anything effective because you're not using the word appropriately. You're just tapping stuff. You're playing around with stuff. I like how you said that. Yeah. You said you're just moving stuff around. Yeah. You just, you just, you know, I can't go on that time. You just, um, just, just making noise. Making noise. And used to stirring up all of this stuff, but you haven't accomplished the goal, which is to get rid of things. Right. You got to get rid of it. You got to use your power in the word and get this stuff out of your life. Right. Right. And, 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 and don't get into a place where uh, you're knocking these things around in your heart and thinking they just, you know, they're just going to leave on their own. What situation is going to work out on their, on their own? No, things will not work out on their own. God works things out on his own, mm -hmm. on his in his time, we just have to make sure that we come up, up under 
his guidance and direction and know that God, you know what? I'm not doing anything effectively in my life yeah. that's causing anything, all these balls in my life, in my heart, all these issues in my life to leave. Mm -hmm. I need you. I need your word to help me and show me how I can finally get rid of these things out of my life so they will be gone forever. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, you know? Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go drop one. Drop the number of uh, Let me see what it's seven. Is. Let me see what this this number seven is it's in the odd spot. So get it from here. Uh, no. See what I can. I I try. I try. I'll see what I can do. Oh, you working around? Oh, wow! You should see. That. I wish you guys could see what I see. Man, they can't see. And sometimes, good shot. Sometimes, if you notice, when it's time to deal with with these issues, sometimes you just need to be quiet. Did you notice we were quiet when you were aiming? Yeah. When you were when you were preparing, we were quiet. Why? So that you can make sure that you are it's the right strategy, that you are you are focusing on the right things right. to get rid of these issues out of your life. If there's a lot of confusion and commotion, you can't you can't focus. Right. You can't concentrate on aiming the word at the right thing. Right. You're gonna find yourself just in chaos. Yeah. I mean, the, these can. What she's saying that all these uh, mental thoughts can become distractions. Yeah. And I'm just saying? gonna hit a few. And we cannot uh, accomplish mm -hmm. anything if we cannot focus. Yeah. You know, we cannot develop and grow if we do not have focus. You know, we cannot accomplish greater things if we're not focused because the, the, the trick of the enemy is to what? It's to steal, kill, and destroy mm -hmm. and to keep us off balance, keep us distracted, to, 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 to block us, to hinder us, so to speak, that we may not get the word of God and be focused. And I think his, his strategy also is to make us feel like we can't do it. Okay. You know, I've, I've hit the, the cue ball several times and haven't done anything as far as getting them in the, in the hole. Right. I've just been moving them around, but that doesn't mean that you don't have what you need in you and with you to deal with these things. Mm -hmm. You have to keep at it. You have to keep using the word. You have to keep strategizing with the word. You have to keep using the word. Don't make it. Don't don't feel like you can't do it. It's not working for you. Yeah. The word works when you work the word. Wow. Wow. So when you use it properly, when you aim it properly, when you're looking at these situations in your life and you're able to line them up with the word of God, then you can hit that puppy in the hole. Yeah. I think a lot of it, too. We have to have the faith. Yeah. You know, once we see and, and the Holy Spirit, give us the word. And he aims us in the right direction in the way that we should tackle or hit that situation. We got to have faith and believe that what the word says it's going to come to pass. Even if it doesn't look like it. Right. Even if you still been putting the word on that situation, but it's still sitting in your life. Yeah. Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it. And keep believing. You know, don't get in a place where you get, and I, I know sometimes that you get weary sometimes and that you feel a little discouraged. And, but just know that even in those times where you feel a little discouraged or you feeling, you know, that, uh, things and it's not going to work out. Just believe and know that God hears those things and he knows those things and he's, he'll be there to help you and give you a word that will get you back on your feet if we do not put the Bible to the side. Yes. You know, we have to stay in the word because there's always a word for your situation. You know, this this new world technology, even though the, the enemy has is the prince and the power of this air, but we can use man's world system for the kingdom of God. So there are always topics that we can look at on the internet or Google it and find out what situation, uh, uh, or what word we need for that situation. So there's no excuse. There's always something that we can find in the word of God to help apply it to our lives so we can be in another place, a greater place. In a a place, place of, of freedom. Peace. Yeah. Freedom. Jesus said, I give you my peace. Yes. Not the peace of the world. Yes. Okay. Hallelujah. So, um, again, uh, knowing, staying focused, guys. Staying um, adamant and diligent in the word of God so things can happen in your life. Yeah. So, I'm going to try to knock this other ball in to try to show people. Oh, 
Hold on. Let me swap things. Hold on, hold on, guys. We're trying to keep the. I hit something. Yep, yeah, you did. You hit it real good. Right there. Okay, you go ahead. I'll try to fix that. Okay. We good? No, I can't fix it. I'll wait for you. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead and hit your shot. Since I'm in a aqua You're in a tight spot. In a tight spot, guys. He's hitting everything. Oh, let me change the screen so they can see. So I can get this one like I want, but so tight spot. But I keep trying. Yeah, okay? keep keep at it. You you keep at it until you get it right. Okay. You know, God is about being patient. But he's also someone who's going to see, um, look at about our heart. He is the one that looks at the heart. You know, because to talk about that, uh, we have to be careful we don't get full of ourselves and thinking that just because we miss that it's not going to work. No, it will. The word of God will work. Keep at it. And so you keep at it. So my wife. Oh, 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 I'm in a bad spot. No, this this is this is a nice shot right here. This is a nice shot. Right it's over here. You have to. I'm I'm in a brick I got a brick wall behind me. Y'all can't see it. I got a brick wall behind me and a table in front of me. I don't have enough room to maneuver this. And that's how a lot of people feel. I don't, I'm I am i am i am captured. I'm stuck. I, the world can't work for me in this place. The world can't work for me in this this tight spot. I can't maneuver my my power. I can't maneuver. I can't, I can't get the I can't get the right angle. Right. I can't get the right angle. I just don't I don't think it's gonna I can't I don't think I have enough room. It's it's just too much. See, I couldn't even get it off good. Yeah. But I could just, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, but I really do. I have a wall back here that I can't. Yeah, that's it really was a tight spot, so see, sometimes you and you forget you miss. You gotta hold on to Holy Spirit. Got you. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit a few balls out the way. Yeah. And see, I don't have as much strength because I haven't played as long as his. I don't work out as much as he does. So my hit my balls may not go as far as his. But the more I practice and the more I aim and I try, I try, I'll get one eventually. Just keep going. Keep going. Don't give up. But but, we, but but we want to be to, you know. Just show you. show you guys and uh, teach you. Let's do it God's way. His way is the only way that you can find victory. You can overcome your situation, you can find peace and be delivered and set free. You know, because we can all come up with, hey, there you go. I cheated. We can all. <laughs> We can all come up with, you know, with excuses as to why I can't do this, why I can't do that. Yeah. But, you know, you know, you have to remember something, too, man. This is this is our life in, at stake here. You know, this is not a rehearsal. This is not a life rehearsal. We only get one shot at this. And so we have to keep with God, help each other, make sure that we get it right the first time. Amen. Yeah, let me chew. Oh, I didn't know y'all were watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could play a little bit. Okay, I'll keep talking. Keep so, talking. you know, uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah. So, if you guys want to make a comment uh, or something that, you know, you want to ask us, you know, this is the time, you know. You know, we, we're having fun here in the, in the pool room, uh, but this is, you know, we're still uh, serious about yeah. Uh, people's lives, right? God, as, as God is, and so as He is, so are we. And we want to help and be a blessing to you guys. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, go ahead and comment. You know, and, and uh, you know what? As we're doing this, just notice that even though we don't hit a ball every time, every we don't get rid of this issue every time. We're still progressing forward. Right. We're not letting the presence of this issue keep us. Stagnant. We're not letting it keep us immobile. We're gonna keep trying till we get them off the board, right. off the off the board. That's right. And so it's it's again, it's a game of strategy. Yeah, and, and vision. You got to be able to focus. Yeah. You got to see the angle. Yeah, you got to see the angle. You got to have a vision. 
you gotta, you know, be patient. You know, it's it's a process with this thing. But sometimes, get you know, uh, things in your life, you know, it takes it takes time. You know, but we have to make sure that we make that we always look unto God. Yes. And ask the Holy Spirit to show us and teach us and help us to be more aware of things that's going around in our lives. Yes. You know? Yeah. And so it's very important that we do that, guys. So um, what are we looking like on our time? We are looking good. We still have 13 minutes. 13 minutes. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so, uh, again, uh, something that I had written down. uh, Follow up with righteousness. Hmm. I can't remember. I, I use that scripture. If we follow out the righteousness, it is there that you will find life, riches, things of that. Now I have to find, I don't want to misquote it, but there are great rewards when you follow and do things God's way. No doubt about it. You know, and we have to make sure that we, uh, Keep our eyes on him. Stay focused. You know, like I, my wife and I said, sometimes you may miss. Sometimes we may drop the word of God when it comes to a situation, but pick it up and and know that God is ready and willing to uh, help you with your situation so you can remove all these situations out of your life and deal with the main issue, which is the dark eight ball there, as we know, is, is our greatest adversary. Yeah. But you know what? But because you have the power and authority in Christ Jesus, you're able to defeat him. You're able to overthrow him with the word of God. Jesus did it when he was tempted, when he said it is written the same power that Jesus had, we have. That's right. You know, and so um, it's about doing things God's way. And not our way. Amen. But well, we hope that you guys were blessed by this demonstration. And we really hope that it really ministered to your heart. You know, because God um, can show us so many things, many different ways. And this was just one of those ways. Yeah. And, you know, this, we talked about this earlier, that this is like a parable. Yeah. You know, God, Jesus, when he was teaching, he would use something natural to explain something spiritual. Yeah. And he used something natural because that is what people were used to. They could understand it. They could grasp it easier because it was something they were familiar with. Yeah. But he used that same situ- that same parable to relay something spiritual. Hmm. And so next time you guys are in a pool room or you're playing pool or if you call it billiards, think of it like this. We're getting rid of these enemies. Yeah. And we're going to use the power of the spirit mm-hmm. and the word of God to do so. Right, right. And get these suckers out of your life. Come on, hit, 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 feel them out let's, of here. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Let me, let me try to hit another for you guys and get these things out of your life. Get them out. Yeah. And it's not as hard as it seems. You know, some of you guys say, well, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to use the word. I don't know how to, how do I, how do I use the word? You find the situation that you're dealing with that's written in the Bible. You study that in context. And then if it applies to your situation, you use it. Now, what was that called? A scratch, yeah. right? What is a scratch? You kind of use the word, but it didn't really. Oh. It didn't really uh, scratch the surface. But if you keep trying, this will happen. Oh, you can put me on the spot. What oh, if yeah. I miss? If you miss, oh. Yes. You knock it in. You knock it in. You knock it in. It didn't come back. No, it ain't coming back. It where it belongs. Under your feet. In that hole. And in that hole. Come on, baby. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. (laughs) Oh, man. What kind of shot you gave me? Yeah, go ahead and take it. But yeah, we want you guys to not give up. This is, as you can see, I'm not a great pool player. I don't play often. I I play to mess around. Yeah. Um, But you can do this. This is so achievable. I don't care how hard it looks. Again, you got to get the right focus, the right. Um, sometimes you may need to use yours, you know, my stick is crooked. My child broke this. Um, you may need By to use way, you don't want a, crooked, a stick. crooked stick. 
See, I, I'm at a disadvantage. I, I, I'm up against this wall again. See, I couldn't hit. I'm up against the wall. But yeah, you can. Um, you can. Uh, what was I saying? Um. Yes. So you sometimes you need to use the spirit to show you if you even got the right aim, right. the right focus. Right. Do you have it in the right position? Are you using this word appropriately? You know, sometimes you might hit and miss, just just go all over the place, but eventually you're gonna hit something. I think I, I like what you you teach this often to us. We may also have an understanding in the context. Yes. Of a word. Yeah. You know, uh, and I think you're saying that you know. A lot of the believers or the women or the, the body of Christ memorize the word. Yes. But you got to know how to apply it. How to word apply it. And yeah. use it in order for it to be effective in your life. And then use it the way it's intended. Mm -hmm. it, that's what it means by saying use it in context. You know, a lot of people just pick scriptures out the Bible and they say, well, that's what the Bible says. It's got to work. But that's not what the Bible meant by that. Right. So you can't rewrite the Bible. You have to take it as God wrote it, as Holy Spirit gave it, and use it that way. So you're gonna just you're just gonna take my 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 easy shot. Oh yeah, I better take him. You should see his face. I better take him. I better take him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oops. Well, now you see what happened when you talk smack. <laughs> He has totally knocked over the camera, y'all. Let me move this out. <laughs> he has totally knocked out the camera. Who me? Oh shoot, that's the wrong one. Here we go. Yeah, I'm back. I got you. See, that's what happened. Yeah, you, you, you. That's gone. You, you, you have, honey, baby, you have done that one in. Let me see if I can fix it. Can you fix it? You go ahead and work on that. I'll try to fix this. See what happened? See what happened when you get a little cocky? Big us. <laughs> they mess around and they broke the, the mood, broke the camera. Look, it doesn't come all the way out of this. Is a cord still in it? I don't have it showing up as my cord. My oh. thing. Boy, he has really done it this time, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happens when you get a little cocky, man? But oh shoot. Well, keep going, honey. I'll try. But to anyway, uh, yeah, I got a little cocky on that shot, guys, and uh, you mess up. That's what happens when you get a little cocky. God has a way of humbling. <laughs> That he does. He has a way of saying, you know, hold up, man. You ain't do it by yourself. And so uh, just remember that. Stay humble. Stay humble as well. And don't get, a, uh, you know, side yourself and know that, uh, thinking that you can do anything in your own strength. Uh, that's that's what I did. Got a little high math. I figured I can do it in my own shit. God, you can, you can sit this one out and I end up messing it up. I got the shot, but I ended up still looking like an idiot in the end. But he, he affected the vision of somebody else by his 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 uh his ways. Right. And you can't do that. And you cannot do that. Uh but we do we have another camera though. Well we'll keep that one going. I don't think I'm gonna get this one back. Okay. Uh but yeah um we just wanted to you know share with you guys we, we're about our time is about up anyway. Uh, but we just want you guys to know that uh, we have to do it God's way. It's very important, you know. Uh, just examine your life and see, you know, are there some balls still left on your table in your heart? Are there some situations or some mindsets or some bad habits or uh, things that you need to remove off the table of your heart and put them in a hole where they belong? Are you Ask yourself, am I using the word of God right? Am I using it and applying it? Uh, by holding by the power of God and using it to truly get free from that thing and, and get victory. Because the, the goal is to get all the balls off the table in the last one, the enemy, and put him where he belongs. Well, let's do that real quick. Go ahead and finish. We'll finish this out. Okay. So we hope that you guys enjoyed our our, our, our presentation. Um, we know that you know everything in this room is not like normal. The lights are off. The, we, you know, it's just a lot that that's, you know goes into this. But we hope that this makes sense, and we want to encourage you that um, we want to encourage you to stay in the Word. Yeah. Continue. Continue to study, continue to use the word to deal with these issues that you, you may have operating or seen operating in your life. Keep dealing with them. 
No, don't keep dealing with keep using the word to deal with them. Right. Okay. Right. Keep using the word. Don't give up. Don't give in. Right. Keep going until you see the the manifestation of the word ma- the, ma- the word manifesting in your life. You are more than you know. You have more power than you know. You got Holy Spirit backing you. Right. The Bible said that we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. And nothing shall separate us from the love of Christ. Nothing. I'm just going to hit this down there so you can get it out. So we must continue to read and study the word and observe, not only to observe it, but to do it. Yeah. Okay. And the more you, the more you use this word, the more effective it will become. Yeah. You know, the, the more you use it, the more you, you, you operate in it. You can move that if you want. It's not even, it's not on. The more you use it, the more, the better you'll get by, with it. The more you effective you'll be. You'll be able to knock out these things more easily. You see, we, we're making more, we're making more, more headway. We're knocking this stuff out the way. We're moving them around. We're getting them in a different perspective. We're able to see different angles where we can get rid of some of this stuff from operating in our lives. Right. You know, we're just setting, setting up things uh, by the word of God to finally overcome those things by the word of God. I don't think I'm going to get this one. You get that one? I don't think so. Is it a bad spot? Yeah. We got not think so. But uh, yeah, so be mindful, guys. We we appreciate you coming coming out as we continue to uh, just mess finish, around, finish up this game. But just know that you know again, it's it's, it's a process, it's a strategy. You know? Now, if we were playing for real, I would have won by now. You know, I, I played a little easy. I didn't want to embarrass him on TV. I told him I would wet him. You know, y'all didn't catch that. I wet you. I will wet you. So we're gonna have to finish this off cam. <laughs> Y'all know we silly. <laughs> yeah, but we we want you guys just to realize that everything in God is possible. If you will trust in the word, use the power the Holy Spirit gives you with the word, you can do this. There is nothing greater than you when you have these tools, when you have these weapons. Right. He's given you everything you need to, to be successful. In this, in this, just journey. All right. Amen. Amen. So, uh, so if it's not, y'all got any questions or any comments? I know we y'all probably said these two, they, these two are nuts. I can't. But, I'm against the wall. You can't know, get it. No, you know, you know, we may be, you know, a little different, but just know that we do love God. Yeah. And, you know, we all growing together. We don't have all the answers, but. uh we're growing together. Yeah. You know, and we truly, uh, Illumination Kingdom teaching is something that God blessed us with. Hey, good shot. And I told you I can play. We just want to, uh, you know, just grow. Let's grow, yeah. We want to grow, man. We want you guys to grow with us in the word of God, you know, too. So, uh, in saying that, if you don't have any more questions or any comments, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I shut this podcast down and then uh, we just pray that you guys were the rest of your evening will be. I told you I could play. I'm just, I didn't want to beat you on the Bible study. <laughs> you did see? Getting cocky. What, what, what? See this? See this? See this? No, he did that on purpose. Sit back over here. No, nah, he was talking while I was trying to focus. <laughs> you know, I was about to get that. <laughs> Oh man! So anyway, <laughs> but you you weren't talking that time. Right. <laughs> yeah, we're just having a good time. Yeah, just having a good time, guys. So, yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and eat. we're we're gonna go ahead and play wrap this up. So nobody has any comments. They ain't saying that. I don't know if we lost everybody. Like they just trying to watch us play the game. I hope you guys know, man. You're like, man, see y'all play the game. I'm here to, I'm here to see, see read the word. Of God. Look, we're getting rid of these issues. Yeah, we're getting rid of these issues. Uh, we're getting rid of these issues. You know, so uh, there you go. I don't know if they saw me do this. See, they ain't see it. Other camera. You, you did that on purpose, good, didn't you? Good. Because you ain't want them to see you lose. Good. Yeah. Good. Mama got skills. Good. Tell y'all that right now. I got some skills. Good. So, uh, see, she had a little cocky. Uh, wow. I ain't like the cock. I'm just telling you, you got some skills. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, see that? Just, just be careful. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we are getting these issues out of our life. I mean, I'm trying to do this the wrong way. I wonder if I can do it backwards. I'm basically do it backwards way. Y'all watch this. He's about to try to do it back. Watch this. <laughs> Joe, watch this. How much you want to bet? <laughs> I probably won't get it because I'm mean, an awkward spot. It's awkward. I can't get it. You see that? Go ahead and knock him in. Let me see what they're saying. Trina said, Love this teaching. You can't move the ball around today. Trina said, You get it, Nicole. Trina said, You can't move the ball around today. I can't get this one. I'm, I'm up against the wall over here. I got to move it up, sir. Yeah, I can't get it. I'm up against the wall. I mean, how do they have a Bible study playing pool? Orange. Oh, All right, I'll let you do the last one. There you I'm go. The last one. I'm going to let Pastor get the last one. Pastor. But y'all was counting, right? Y'all was counting who got the most in, right? <laughs> look, look. Why are you gonna put it in the easy spot? So because so, I can put it in you know what you see how you do? You see how you do? And watch what happened. If you missed it, man. Don't scratch. We love you. And you see who the winner is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me all them balls I knocked in I ain't the winner? Only one that got rid of the strong man is the winner. Dead by the pickle. I did. It's all that effort. So, God, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to get back to my game. In fact, man, when she's so rudely interrupting, I don't know if you guys caught that first clip or not, uh, but my wife, you want, you want to show it one more time before we go? She's going to show you the, 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 the clip from when we just started. This, this is our intro. Check it out. Honey. Honey. Yeah, babe. Uh, what are you doing? I'm playing Miss Pac-Man. Do you know today is Tuesday? Uh. And you know what time it is? Yeah, blue, 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 blue. It's seven o'clock, and you down here playing Pac, Miss Pac-Man. Blue, 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 blue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining us, y'all. So we've been having fun all day. We always have fun, but we we sure appreciate you guys coming out and hanging with us. The winner is the word. You got it, Bonnie. You got it, sister. The winner is the word. All right, y'all. We love y'all. Um, again, y'all just be encouraged. Even if you're using the word, you don't see anything happening. Keep going. Don't give up. The word works. With power of Holy Spirit and the word, you cannot lose. You have victory. Victory is your portion. It is, yes. it is there for you. And you can definitely overcome anything, anything right. in this earth. Amen. All right? Amen. All right. We love you guys. We will see you guys on Sunday for part two of it's in the name it's in the name, it's in the name. all right y'all we love y'all we'll see y'all soon bye